Hi everyone, my name is Sean Batia, and in this video, I'll explain to you why FaceApp, a popular application that can change the features of your face, is something that you should probably avoid or at least be concerned about. I'll tell you the truth behind the terrifying FaceApp. Now remember last year when the internet was filled with this? The famous hashtag FaceApp challenge was the most trendy thing for like several weeks. Millions of people uploaded their face pictures to get to know how they would look like as male or female, young or old, or even with a beard. I guess you've also done this challenge, or at least played with FaceApp for some time. The results of aging or changing gender on the pictures were fine, but not perfect. Just fine. And now, after almost a year since that challenge, FaceApp is back, and the results are shockingly better. And here's why. The facial recognition algorithm that works in this app literally eats your face picture and remembers every detail of it. Your face gets represented as a matrix, and everyone's face matrix is unique, literally a grid of numbers. The app then digests this matrix that it eats, like that weird black monster from Spirited Away. The more that the face app algorithm gets food, aka your picture, the bigger and better that it becomes. Suddenly, your identity becomes another numeric matrix representation that can be copied, altered, or grafted onto another human being, or an entirely staged fake video. And how does it work? At its most basic level, the numbers in that matrix are changed just ever so slightly. That linear algebra that you zoned out of in middle school, high school, or college? Yup. That is at the root of all the space tweaking. And now imagine, what could happen in the future when the AI algorithm behind FaceApp will get billions and billions of pictures of not only you and your family and friends, but also of our world's leaders, celebrities, and influencers? In case you were wondering, then you guessed it. This type of data can be explosive in the hands of somebody who might want to make a deep fake featuring you. These are real risks that all of us alive today, millennials, Gen Z and what, Generation Alpha, are facing and will have to deal with. Wow, okay, so that was terrifying. But that aside, let's be real. I am personally very interested in AI, and my goal is to make machines that augment humans, even improve them. Just because there are some risks involved with technology doesn't mean that I'm telling you to just go back and live in the forest. Just know what's up. Like, remember Tony Stark and Iron Man? Well, I think a key first step is building out a tool like Iron Man's Jarvis, and there are some fantastic companies out there working on this exact problem. I love the potential and the benefits that can be brought to AI by humanity. But at the same time, we all should be extremely aware and use discernment about which apps and technologies we use for personal purposes. And for those of you who use FaceApp, well, it's important to know what you're signing up for. Now, I'm not singling FaceApp out necessarily. They've actually released a public statement describing how their system works, and if you trust that, then it's not so bad. When an app processes your image on the cloud, it's actually just offloading the work to happen in a place that isn't on your actual phone. So yeah, when that image is temporarily in a cloud server for 48 hours, is it at risk of being weaponized by a bad actor or hacked? Yeah, but that isn't exclusive to just FaceApp. So is the majority of our data that is now cloud-based. It's stored in either AWS, GCP, or Azure. And most of what you do to make your life more convenient has some element of cloud-hosted database. And most of that has some risk involved, no matter how marginal. That's actually why cybersecurity is so important, super cool, and definitely a hot field to look into if you're watching this video and curious about how you want your future to unfold. Now back to security. The key message is, know what you're signing up for. Use your discernment, your common sense, and actually read the prompts that iOS and Android give you. They're technically supposed to let you know how your data is collected, if it's going to get collected, and maybe what it will be used for. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and give us a little like. Also, I'd like to ask you, do you think AI is a savior or a harbinger of doom for humanity? Let me know in your comments below. The best comment will be featured in next week's video. My name is Sean Batir, and I'm on a mission to build human-like robots.